Welcome to Capto TV episode three. This is going to be about energy and launch of the golf ball. So uh, we're going to talk about the arc, which is the angle of attack. We're going to talk about the energy and we're going to talk about the launch of the ball. Uh, I think there's some misconceptions out there in putting that we have to hit up on the ball with a negative loft so that we can get the ball rolling as soon as we can. Um, we have to recognize now that putters are built a little bit differently and we've got some face inserts that help promote a ball roll. So uh, we want to try and, yes, not influence a backspin on the golf ball, which I'll demonstrate. Uh, but we want to make sure that we're actually launching the ball up in the air anywhere from about two to three degrees if you're on grass. Uh, but when you get measured inside on turf, sometimes the ultimate or the optimal launch angle on turf is like one degree. But recognize that on grass, you want two or three degrees of launch upward. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about the factors that go into that. So the first we're going to look at the shaft to arc relationship. So this, the shaft to arc relationship is basically is the shaft or is the putter head de-lofted or lofted through the stroke? And during this stroke here, the putter head, the, the face was de-lofted all the way into transition and out of transition into impact, the shaft to arc was de-lofted. So there was 1.4 degrees of de-lofting of the putter head relative to where it started at the moment of impact. Now we looked at the arc. The arc here is the angle of attack and how the putter works from a face on view, as we can see here, uh, I'll get rid of some of the lines for a sec. So we can see here that the view here is that the putter goes backwards and upwards. And as it comes back down, it hits the ball just ever so slightly on the downward stroke of 0.1 degrees. But I would say that's caught on the bottom of the arc. And then from there, it starts to rise. Now, this is where you're going to find different schools of thought. I prefer that the putter hits the golf ball somewhere past low point, but not very far past low point. So I'm looking for an angle of attack that's roughly zero to one degrees on the way up. That would be my ideal situation. If that can happen, delivering a little bit of loft on the putter, that ball will launch up in the air and will not promote a back spin, um, but it also definitely won't promote too much forward spin, which um, I don't think actually can truly um, truly occur to the golf ball uh, without the ball launching down into the ground. So that's the next thing we're going to look at here is the launch. So we can see here that this last stroke delivered negative one degrees of dynamic loft with a negative 0.1 or zeroed out angle of attack. So we had a negative launch of 0.9 degrees. This ball launched into the ground and through high speed video capture, we're able to see that the ball launching into the ground will bounce up and down probably three times before starting to roll in a much, it will start to get into true roll in a much further spot uh, from where the moment of impact was. So we can see here that the launch angle was negative 0.9 degrees down. The second stroke, we got 2.9 degrees up. So we delivered about three degrees of dynamic loft and we hit about three degrees up on the stroke. So we got about three degrees of positive launch. And when we start to hit the sweet spot, we start to actually get um, a little bit of a more solid strike. So when we start to look at what Capto can provide from an energy balance, we can see here that this stroke uh, pretty much hit the ball with the same dynamic loft as the same angle of attack. So it hit it fairly solid, if you can call it that, from a loft perspective. And we lost backspin energy of 0.2%, which is absolutely nothing. Uh, the next way you can lose energy or smash factor on your stroke is the face to path. And this face to path was fairly fairly square. Um, so we only lost 0.8%. And then a little bit of a two toe strike, which was really not much of a toe strike if we only lost 1.9% for a total of 0.3. So we really hit that putt solid on this one here. Um, angle of attack was a little bit up, but we matched it up with some loft to make sure that we got a very good positive launch. So the, the, the optimal thing that we're going to look for here in what we're trying to do is to make sure that we're launching the ball in the right parameters. The right parameters to launch the ball is between two and three degrees. And if you can deliver uh, enough loft on the putter while the putter works its way up slightly and you can launch the ball at two between two and three degrees, I'm not too concerned with the relationship. As we can see here with this settings, we have it so that 92% of the dynamic loft of the face results in the launch angle and only 8% of the angle of attack results in the the total launch angle. So um, what that means is that the launch of the ball is getting most of its launch from the loft, not the angle of attack. 
So if that's the case, and I can bring in two degrees of loft and launch and hit up on the ball one, <clears throat> I'm in a pretty good range for being able to get my, uh, my launch in order so that the ball will launch through the air, depending on your face inserts and whatnot in the ball, <clears throat> uh, it will tumble over um, and start to actually get somewhat of a top spin roll before it starts to bounce and roll with a positive angle of attack. Um, but ultimately what we're trying to do is not create backspin. That doesn't mean that we're trying to create forward spin. Just not create backspin, understanding the relationships between the launch, the arc, the shaft, which we started with, and what energy is lost uh, in the stroke of the putt.